We believe that she's out there. We believe that she's still missing and we're just looking for help. Because we believe that you know, we're people of faith and in our heart we know that she's still, she's still alive. And we believe that Jesus is out there, that somebody has her, you know, basically. And we're just praying that, you know, whoever has her will let her go. And, um, and just, you know, we want her to know too, we are not giving up hope, that we're looking, we will continue to look for her and not stop. Because we believe that she's out there and we're not gonna stop till we find her. Because we believe that she's coming home. You know, that's, that's our belief and we're standing on that belief. Because what, what did the coroner's office tell you that leads you to believe that she's We not? haven't heard anything from the coroner, just from the descriptions for the tattoos. She'll have any tattoos or body piercings. So we pretty much know and the size of the victims didn't fit her. So we pretty, you know, we're pretty comfortable in um, believing that she's not under the victims. And it's got to be difficult to feel happy about exactly, that. Exactly, because some, it's still somebody's, somebody's child. And we didn't realize how, you know, the extent of the missing people were until we saw on Cleveland website, it was 24 pages of missing people. Mm -hmm. And it's like every day, and it's just a, a eye opening and amazing that people can go missing. And, you know, just saw a report on, on um, a minute ago, a girls missing from the West Side since, um, uh, I think it was 2007. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you know, what's happening? You know, we're just looking for help. And like my wife was saying that people see, people, especially people in the street, they always see something. We just, we just need that one tip to come in that says she's here or we've seen her you know, recently, you know, anything. There's no reason to believe that she would have run away. There's no, we have a very away. loving family. Uh, Sherrod was looking forward to moving and she was excited. I mean, and we have Bible class on Wednesday night. She has never, ever missed a Bible class. I mean, because I get up, I get up work at eight o'clock, and she's at the door waiting for me to come in, and we go to Bible class together. We've done that. Last for, yes, September. well, two weeks, the the tenth, the, the day she went missing. So we knew then that something was wrong because she she's the kind of person. If it was a snowstorm, and we say we couldn't take her to school, she would call a teacher to come get her, and I'll, I'll engage the meal. So she never missed school. She was a very routine person. I mean, she was, with her mindset to do something, nothing was going to stop her to do it, and. She's a, uh, we are a very strong family unit, a very loving home, and she, she was like the sparkle of the house because she's, she's a hugger. She loves hugging, and she always cheers you up, and no matter what, you know, she's a very, very loving person. So there's no way that she would just do this, you know, just go disappear, or we've heard that she was, she was a boy, but that's not her. That's not her personality at all because her first love was the Lord. She loved Jesus, and that was her first love. You go to her Facebook page, it's like you see your scriptures on there, Encourage people to come to church. So that was that was who she is. So it's Bible class every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, yes. So she's missed two now. Two, yes. And that's something or church. She would never miss church. church. No. She's up first thing in the morning on Sundays before any of us get up. And she's dressed at like eight o'clock. We don't we don't leave eleven thirty. She's ready at eight o'clock. So some people would say, Well, it's hard to believe that she could be out there okay, but we have seen it. Exactly. Yes. It. We have seen it exactly. And, you have to and we and you believe can. in miracles, so we know. You know, that happened with, with the missing 10 years. That was a miracle. Mm -hmm. And we believe that, you know, we still believe in miracles. And we believe, you know, I don't, even people that's out there, we've seen so much good. We've had motorcycle games, look for police departments, gangs, everybody. Just, you know, it's like God's just bringing everybody together. You know, because every, every police officer is a parent, just about. And right. newscaster, you, you, so you feel the pain of a parent who's looking for their child, not knowing is that's the torment part that you, you, you don't know where she's at. And especially the person who's always, she always comes home from school, I mean always. So when they don't come home, it's like, you know, it's not normal, it's not a routine. You know, she would come to my job with her sister or to her, her father's um, appliance store with her sister. She never went anywhere without her sister. So she wouldn't just walk away and go somewhere's house without her sister. They, was, they were inseparable, they still are. Yes. Charged. You've watched the news conference. Your people of God. Yes. Preach the good. You see right. The evil, and you're right in the middle of it. We had the. We believe in God's grace, and it's only by His grace that He's holding us up. And even though the evils in the world, we know good is there too. And I believe strongly where it says, "Overcome evil with good." And I believe that we're seeing that people kept donated 50 um, cases of water to the location there. I mean, strangers, Subway donated food to us, so, to the location. So we're seeing the good in this, because it's easy to look at the evil, but we, we learn to look at the good too. The people are out, out there every day searching abandoned buildings. I mean, strangers come up, pull up to the curbside and just 
just hug my wife or the family members, total strangers, black, white, doesn't matter, because we all can relate to somebody's missing a child. And if she could hear you, your messages. Uh, we love you and we are looking for you. We will find you. We will find you. You know, we, we always praying and we, we send her test messages mm -hmm. at night, let her know we're, we're praying for her and looking for her and not to give up hope. Did she have her phone with her? No, she did not have a phone. She had an iPod, so okay. it was wireless. So, so. if she's getting messages, she has Yes. That. Okay, very good. Anything else you want to add that I haven't asked you? No, we just want everybody to just continue to look and not give up hope. You know, not, not to give up hope because we believe that she's out there.